Hi everybody, it is Friday, October 18th, and tomorrow is my very first show with Miami City Ballet. And so I wanted to kind of vlog this weekend, take you along for what I can, um, because this is obviously a very, very big deal, and I wanted to document it for you guys, because I know a lot of you can't be here. So, today I'm starting, it's the 18th, it's the day before, because it's our dress orchestra rehearsal today. So I'm gonna take you along for that. I don't know how much footage I can get or I'm allowed to get of the actual rehearsal or show, but I'm gonna try, so we'll see. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I just got to the theater. This is my dressing room. I share with fellow soloist, Samantha Galler. We've known each other since we were 12 at CPYB summer program, that's where we met. So we had a bit of a moment when we found out we were dressing room mates. It was really very cute. Um, so this is our dressing room, which is quite large for the two of us. Um, let me show you my costumes. So here are my slaughter dresses. Slaughter on 10th Ave, Morgan. Um, this is the pink one. It's basically, a lot of you have commented on photos and stuff that this looks like the bodice of the uh, New York City Ballet Dewdrop costume. It's literally the same bodice, at least is what I can remember, just with the fringe skirt. Or it's very, it's made the same way um, with the built-in trunk. So that's the pink one. You start the ballet in the pink one, and then you finish the ballet in the black one, which is exactly the same thing, just black. Um, and, you know, more, there I am, more soloist. Um, they also, which is really nice, where are our tights? Oh, I don't, they haven't, they don't have them in here. But they also sew your name in your tights, so you get your own tights as well. And here are my shoes. These are invisible elastics that are uh, sharpied to match fishnets. So we were fishnets. So that's how these shoes stay on. So hopefully you don't see the elastics uh, from the audience. Another thing you guys have asked about after seeing pictures and footage and stuff is my hair, how miraculously long my hair is. Guys, this is my real hair. This is my slaughter hair. So for those of you who think that my hair miraculously lengthened and thickened, think again. <laughs> um, I appreciate it, but no. No, these clip in um, and they stay and uh, it gives the illusion of more hair. So don't take don't get discouraged if you think that I have on some miraculous pill or something for hair. No, it's fake. So I'm heading to the stage. We have company class on stage. And I don't think anybody's out here yet. So maybe I can get some footage. Yeah, no. no. So here's the stage. And here's the slaughter set. All the hats and the props and everything, like the names, like like the guy who plays the thug, these are the two casts. Um, this guy who wears this hat, these are these two casts. Um, all the props are laid out on the table. Here's the big slaughter set, um, which is, we have to dance on a little tiny stage. It's terrifying. But anyway, here's class, where we're gonna take company class. Look, this place is huge. There's like the stage and then the size of the stage in the back and then the huge wings on the right and the left. And then here is the view out to the audience. Gorgeous, hello. So yeah. So I'm dress rehearsal ready. I'm not in full stage makeup. You guys know that. You guys know what I do for full stage. But I'm trying this 1920s, 30s swoop. We'll see if it reads from stage. I don't know. But this is my headpiece. And then the hair has to come down really, really fast. So that's slightly stressful, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm in my dress. I'm doing all this now because tomorrow night I might be a little distracted. But anyway, yeah, in my dress. But it's very fun. Here, wait. So you can see the ribbing. Um, and uh, this flower comes out like that. Getting a very close up shot there, guys. Sorry about that, but anyway, yeah. I'm ready to do dress rehearsal. I just have to put on my heels and my little shawl that I take off. So yeah, here we are.
So it is now Saturday the 19th. Um, I spent the morning with my parents and friends who are in to see me. Um, and I didn't really film anymore yesterday because I wanted to focus on the rehearsal and all that stuff. So, but it is uh, about three in the afternoon now and I'm about to leave for the theater. So I'm really excited. So I get to the dressing room and look at these gorgeous flowers from Mary, who's a viewer. Thank you so much. That's incredible. They're absolutely stunning. Oh, that just made my day. Thank you, Mary. I really, really appreciate it. So I'm here really early before class, but that's what I like to do. If anybody knows me from before, I'm always the one that's like really, really early. So I'm just kind of getting stuff together and then we have class and then, which is nice because we have class and then like an hour break before the show. So it gives you time instead of like you just get off the stage from class and then have to go to the show. So, and then I don't, I'm not till last ballet, so I don't go on till like 9.15. So I got loads of time. <laughs> this is Sam. Hi. We've known each other forever. <laughs> See photo pop now. Um, <laughs> I'm painting my face. Putting our faces on. And I got my dressing gown on because, you know, that's how I roll. We need to be glamorous as we. <laughs> that's how I roll. <laughs> I'm also really hot, <laughs> but it's probably better than cold. Yeah, for sure. Um, we've got a nice candle going. Yeah. Okay. Doing the roll. Okay, I'm too hot. <laughs> <laughs> so hot. Oh man. It's all right. Feeling the audience and yeah. lips on. I still look a little weird. But, I'm going to show you guys that I'm surprisingly calm. We'll see how it goes. Oh, while we're here, let me show you this too. Um, you can see the monitor, the show going on. Stravinsky by Len Concerto. It's first. Um, McCarrick Tidings. Paul Taylor Ballet is second. And I'm last, so I still have loads of time. Okay, so this works. I'll be very happy. Feels pretty solid. Yep. Okay. There's one. And you can't even see him. See? And from far away. Ooh, they feel really secure. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Because what happens in this ballet is that the hair starts up and you got three minutes to change your dress, your shoes, and bring your hair down. Maybe not even three minutes. So got to put it up in a way that it'll stay without being too crazy. And I like to do it slightly over to the left side because here's a little tip for all of you. If you have a headpiece, do your bun slightly to the opposite side so it'll fit so your headpiece isn't coming forward. So my headpiece is going to go over here, so I'm going to do the bun slightly to the left. But you also don't want to like flick it down too much because it's got to come down and you don't want to be like helmet head. Cool. 
I almost brought B12 and then I forgot. Oh, that's good, yeah. But I think I'll be, I'm good on adrenaline yeah, like, right now. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Uh, No, it's great in here. I didn't film anymore because I was too overwhelmed and happy and whatever that I forgot to pick up the camera, but the performance was incredible. The audience was amazing. Everyone was so supportive. It just could not have gone any better, and I'm just so happy to be back performing and on stage. It was incredible. So thank you to everybody involved and everybody who was there and all the messages you guys had sent me. It was absolutely amazing. Um, if you missed my recent video on how to improve your turnout, it's right down there. You can click it to watch. Love you guys so, so much. Thank you again for everything, and I will see you next time.